wrong link out there. I'm about to um, put up the live link and then I will start talking. Yeah. So if you want, just you can put a comment on the post and say that the new, I, I said that the new link is up there, but maybe if you want to shout out a quick message, um, people can see that and join. All right. Uh, Toto, do you have access to the, um, to the waiting room right now? No. No. Okay. All right. Let me give you co-host so that you can look at these names. I don't, I don't think I have these names on my list. I actually, my, my list of names or whatever, um, it, uh, <coughs> excuse me, it, messed up so i gotta i gotta redo it hey tom how you doing yes i'm fine uh tom actually there are, maybe you change the your airphone airphone but uh the sound is still not really well mm, yes okay i will try again um can you hear me now yeah i can hear you Okay, I think that's good. A little bit of throttles today. Okay. Let's see. All right, so if you're watching this on, um, uh, on web talk live right now uh, go ahead and make a comment if you are in the waiting room um, just make a comment if you're in the waiting room and then we can add people in um, Toto is adding people in right now I know someone said that they wanted to oh Tom you wanted to present right really? correct I think you, I think you, I think you uh, said that you wanted to. Let's see here. All right, let's see. So Tom, Tom, you, you said that you wanted to present, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. How long do you think you're gonna you you need? I think I just need four or five minutes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. All right. So what I'll do is um, I will talk just a little bit, and then uh, I will let you go ahead, and I'll make you a, a co-host, and you can share your screen and do your presentation. All right. Okay. All right, guys. So sorry about that. There's been <laughs> a little bit of difficulties today even even I mess up so it's all good uh, I put in the wrong link so people are still trying to get on it's okay if you don't get on to the zoom you can watch it on on uh, web talk live I know that uh, Martin is watching right now he said that he's just watching and listening hopefully uh, it's working for him so he can actually listen and watch uh, so that's that's what's cool about this guys is you know, when we have classes, we don't have to have every single person in the Zoom class to be um, successful, to be able to learn, to be able to, uh, you know, get more information. Um, this is uh, um, something that 
You can watch on Web Talk Live and still get all the information. What I would like to do today is just talk a little bit about what's going to happen kind of, you know, moving forward. I did put a post that uh, I would do um, a Zoom on Saturday night. I didn't realize it, but I do have a prior engagement. So that's going to have to get pushed one more uh, week. So not this Saturday night, but the next week I will start doing uh, Saturday night Zooms for the travel group, which would be uh, other people's mornings or whatever. So I'm very sorry that I, that I put that on there and I just, I wasn't thinking uh, ahead enough. And then today I realized that I, I have a prior engagement. So we won't do um, a Zoom on um, Saturday, like my Saturday night, uh, but the next week we will. Another thing that I wanted you guys to do, a little, little tip under something that you need to learn is uh, when you do travel, um, nowadays it's a little bit easier because a lot of things get sent, you know, pictures and videos just get sent to a cloud and, you know, and, and you save pictures and all that. But a little hint, um, when, I, when I first started really traveling, when I moved to Abu Dhabi, I had a camera and I also had a, a cell phone that I used. And for some reason, the camera... I don't know what happened, but along the way, the 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 uh, memory stick that was in it had a virus, and so throughout the years, different pictures get taken out of out of my um, out of my camera, and so I had to figure out how to clear up most of that virus and stuff. And so you know, make sure when you travel, if you use a camera, make sure to um, not use your your uh your memory stick in in a computer that you maybe that you don't know or maybe it's someone else's computer or whatever um don't do that because you can easily pick up viruses and then you know a lot of my pictures have have been erased and so um that's just a little tip uh the reason i'm saying that is because i do want to show you some pictures from egypt today um what i've what i've said is that i will uh kind of go in order of travels, uh, my first, you know, uh, a while back, I showed some pictures from um, the camel races in the UAE. That was one of the first things that I did. Um, but this first trip to Egypt um, was the first trip I took when I when I moved to Abu Dhabi. So I'm going to show a couple pictures from that, uh, from Cairo and from Sharm el Sheikh. Uh, I definitely want to go back to Egypt and um, explore more cities. Uh, I actually went back to Cairo uh, right before I, uh, my family came to the United States because my wife wanted to go and see it. So at some point, I'll show you better pictures uh, from Egypt because <laughs> my phone, you know, was a little bit newer at the at the time that I went with my family, and uh, I was able to have better pictures and save them in a in a secure place. So today's pictures um, very quickly. Uh, I will kind of go through and just show you some pictures from um, uh, Egypt, a couple pictures from Egypt, from Cairo, and from um, Sharm el Sheikh. But like I said, a lot of them got um, messed up with a virus. So before I show you those pictures, uh, I'm going to uh, um, get, I think Tom has, let's see, yep, he is the co host. He is going to do a little presentation. So, Tom, I'm going to let you go ahead and do a little presentation. And then uh, if people have questions about what he talks about uh, after he's done, that would be awesome. So, um, Tom, you can go ahead and share your screen if you like. Yes. Okay. Let, let me see. Can you... I will start my presentation. Go ahead. Um, Hello, every teachers and we participate in this meeting. My name is Tom and I will present to you who will have uh, is the travel, has good travel place and and I think I, I, I think I am a, I like the literature so I think I, I, so I like the natures and travels. But today I will tell you about about the things about the beautiful place. Uh, have, uh, I will show you two questions. Is a Dong 
Tị Hồ An in A Sơn Đông Tị Hồ An in C Hồ Tom, uh, you're, sorry? Your, uh, your volume is kind of, or your um, sound is kind of going in and out. Hmm. Because I think my, my microphone is having a, a problem, but I can't fix it. What, what is the problem? Uh, Tom, what is what's what are you saying? Is there's a problem with what? I think that's that is a little bit problem because that's my I have used the I have used my mom headphones and I and I think that is better, but but I think that's not good enough uh, because that you you can't hear me and everyone. Can, too. Do you have another set of headphones that you could use? Oh no, that's the only one. Oh, okay. Sorry. All right. All right. We'll we'll go ahead and we'll see. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. I have three options to you. That can you guess about how the place I will be presenting to you I have uh, have three, three decisions. That's a sundown, b. And can you guess that? No. Would hey Tom, how about unplugging your headphones and just trying to use your computer microphone? Would that work? I don't know about that because uh, uh, because my headphone is that is the only headphone, so I couldn't fix it. But okay. if you if you hard hard to hear i will fix it later and i will leave the stage to the another one yeah try doing that because because it's kind of it's kind of difficult to hear it's just kind of in and out the whole time um see if you can fix that real quickly and uh i'll come back to you now uh lamb lambs 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 did were you able to fix your uh um connection so that you could do your presentation i know that you were trying to do one yesterday or last week Yes, yes, teachers, I am ready now. Okay, great. Yeah. Right, so, so Tom, see if you can fix your um, the sound issues right now, and we're going to listen to Lambs Lambs uh, presentation, and then I'll come back to you and see if, if it's better. <coughs> All right. All right, let's see here. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Yes, can you must to, to, to be to be ho, co ho, not yep. me, not lam lam, because I use computer, yeah. Yep. Your, your volume to be. sounds so much better today. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I train, I train my class because I talk, I resent by phone, mm. but I use to, to, to be to be my laptop. And very I good, say, very good. Yeah. Um, so you should be the co-host. If you want to share your screen, that would be awesome. Yeah. All right, let's see here. All right, Lems, uh, you should be able to share your, your um, screen now. Did you? Yes. Mm, no, you can, you, you must to be to be co -ho. Um, Actually, teacher, uh, teacher Andy, can you make Toby Toby become the co-host because Lam Lam use the computer with Toby account? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. There we go. There you go. Now you should be able to.
Toby, are you able to do that? Thank you, teachers. Lambs, is that is working now? Yeah, I am working now. Okay. I start sharing. I start sharing now. Okay. Can I start? Can I start now? Yes, yes, yeah. you can start now. Yeah. You okay. Need to, you need okay. to share your screen, Lambs. Share your screen if you want to show us something or if you're just going to talk, that's fine. But um, okay. see anything yet as far as screen sharing? Oh, here we go. Getting there. Okay, excellent. All right, guys. So let's listen and hear what. Uh, okay, we're gonna learn a little bit more about Vietnam. All right, excellent. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to my city. Yes, today I want to. I would like to introduce to you to two places which are the most popular and attractive places in my city. Yes, this in my city. You see that the first, the first, fully, but frankly speaking, I will take you to visit the big waterfall. Yes, it is about eighteen kilometer from my city. Yeah, you know, I think if this is the first time you come here, you will be surprised at the marvelous beauty of this legendary waterfall. The, you see, the waterfall from about over 90 meters down, creating a beautiful scenery. You know, in the rainy season, in the rainy season, the water is rippling, creating white purple. But in the dry season, water waterfall both change as chalk, pretend to make you feel comfortable. But in both seasons, the waterfall always brings a beauty that so many visitor. Yes, the net. It, you see. Do you know why it, why is it said that the big waterfall named Waiting is associated with the love channel of the three guns and the dam boy? They are a couple, but according to legends, the two people has met by the by the water to go on the day, but the boy suddenly disappeared without a trace, and the girl waiting. Waited on the time, but she did, but she didn't see the boy came back, so she cried a lot. And the girl waited her him beside the waterfall for a long time. The girl tear from into the lap waterfall until now. It had been said that the green name waiting, waiting, the re name waiting. Yes, because beside that, you see, beside the the waterfall and there are uh, many healthy creation activity at duck riding. Riding, the duck riding around the, around the lake. And they can ride the by roller coaster, fair and wide and roller casing. Yes, the waterfall is a specul specular one, the highest waterfall in Baolok, Lam Lam Roving. Coming here, you can enjoy the fresh air of nature, see the mosaic waterfall be between the breathing mountain and especially it cover many interesting game here. You believe that it will leave visitor with many impressive memory. Yeah. Yeah, you see, they are the unit tree house, tree houses. Is it the best to don't be in you can take rest or relax in the in there amidst the 
majestic in the mountain landscape up here with the greenery around. Yes, the next time. The second, I want to tell you another, another place. When you come back home, you can visit Linh Quy Pháp Ấn Bờ Gâu Đờ. It's in the tourist area. It's in the most of the beautiful scenery in Bảo Lộc City. So you shouldn't miss it. It's in about 20 kilometers from my city. This lake is considered by many a fairy tale place. Standing from a bow, standing from the bow, you can see a lapse bay and immerse yourself in the mountain and the river. Yes. Linh Quy Pháp Ấn is also known as the heaven gate of the lands of Lâm Đông Đô Vinh. This lay has pure space, be of mice, but also has a wonderful scenery like the fairy tale play that are fascinating when visiting here. You know, no play can be compared to here. Luckily, it's a Located on the high hill, southern round the Bergoda, there are a, a lot of ring tea hill, ring tea hill, and the forest and the mountain. Yeah, mountain. Mm. You can see the marvelous scenery with the cloud floating around, floating around in your round. And in the distance, there are identical hills stretching to the horizon. You see, yeah, from the foot of the pagoda, you have to climb a lot of strong steps. Yeah, in front of the pagoda, spot in the hook stone, Buddhas, yeah. Buddhas, uh, which give the sense of mystery, mental place. Yeah, you see. But have the heaven gate events of the highlight to create the attraction of the visit of the people. The highlight of is in the Eunice gate. Uh, it can be said from the gate that open can typical natural view of Paolo. And you see, there are three gates. Yeah, one, two, three. Three gates are ran around the square. The square of the stone yeah, with the balcony. The discount, discount that yeah, on were also in the venue for the security solemn bride. As well as, it can said, it is said that to be the most unique religious architecture in, the, in my country. In addition, it also had a so correct born to statue. If you come here, but you remember to worship instant, getting good thing to your family or the loved one. However, yeah. However, it will be the ideal to play for everyone who wants to relax away from the bustling just the urban area. Separate from the noisy light, the mind has the opportunity to come down to the contemporary lights. You will be relieved in the pure and the beautiful space here, along with the admiring the fascinating natures. Yet you know, it's a built not so long ago but the Zip Bergoda is very popular with the tourists. And voted in the list of the top 20 ideal tourist attractions when coming to the lands of the Lâm Đông Rovind. Not only tourist vote, but also on the travel website. It is impossible to mention the hidden ritual temple, the place that gives a lot of visitors and the more unforgettable feeling. 
Yes, I hope you will love my city and visit it one day. Yes, thank you for listening. That was awesome. That is a beautiful picture right there. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, that's 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 an incredible picture. I really like that. I like that waterfall too. That's awesome. All right. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Yeah. You know, many people, many tourists come here and visit here, but here only, only this is a cow, yeah. Uh, only, but it is very famous in here, famous in my city. And many mm. people come here and visit here. And sometimes they come here and they play with the food. And, and they want to their, their life always happy and comfortable with it, with their life. Yeah. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop your, your sharing, but I wanted to ask you a question. Um, okay. When is, when is the rainy season in Vietnam? What months? Yeah, in season, yep. In my, uh, in my country, had to to start north and the south, but I live in the south. There are two seasons, rainy season and dry, and dry season. But in the north season, the south season, in the fall season, um, summer, winter, fall, and um, spring. Mm -hmm. But in my city, only two seasons, rainy season and a dry season. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. That was, that was great. That was, that was cool. That was yeah. pictures, uh... Thank you, teacher. Thank you, everyone. Now, now where, where is that in Vietnam? Is that like north, south? Where, where is your city? Uh, my city is Lam Dong Ravine in the south of the of Vietnam. Okay. It's a part of it, yeah. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I saw a little bit of Vietnam, but I, I probably have not seen very much of Vietnam and definitely, um, would, you know, we'll, we'll definitely want to see more. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Glad uh, everything worked this time. So, so that was great. Thank you. Um, yeah, thank you. Uh, Tom, did you figure it out yet? Oh, um, not yet. I think okay. I will move it into Sundays. Yeah, let's do let's do that for uh, next week. Next, no, will be next Thursday because um, I'm not going to do Saturday this week. I'll do I'll do the you know for you guys the Sunday. We'll do it the next week. So this week I we won't. So um, we'll just save that for next time. Not a problem. All right, guys. Um, let me see here. I'm going to share some pictures real fast. Um, can you see the pictures? Uh, yes okay you can see it all right so let's see i'm just gonna leave it like this so when i went to egypt the first time uh we we uh we met a um oh shoot sorry my computer just went silly for a second let me start this over again i don't know what's going on Hold on one second, guys. One second. Okay. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, so you guys can see the pictures now? 
Uh, Tom, you can see the pictures? Yes, I okay. can see it. I can see it. Okay. Cool, all right. So when I went to Egypt the first time, uh, we went and um, you know uh, got a taxi driver from the airport and he took us to basically to his friend's um, place where they do tours and stuff. And they asked us if we wanted to do a tour with all the tourists or if we wanted to do something a little bit different. And of course we chose different because um, you know, if I can stay away from all the tourist places, um, that would be that would be better. So what we did is we actually rode camels. We got on camels and we rode camels up to go see um, the the uh, pyramids. You'll see in a in a few pictures later how close the pyramids really are to the city. The three major pyramids that we all know about that we've all you know seen in our history books. One thing that was very interesting is when you get out in the desert or you know start climbing on the um, pyramid itself and you start looking out in the distance, you see many pyramids. There was pyramids. There's pyramids all over the place. So it's kind of cool because you kind of think that these are the only pyramids that are in Egypt, but they're not. They're they're everywhere. If you see this little uh, village, you know, looking um, stuff here, this is where the people that worked on um, the, the pyramids lived is what they told us. And then there's kind of a burial site for people who uh, died while working on the pyramids. But what we did is we got on the camel, we started walking up and we went right by that place to check it out. Um, I think there's a picture of that uh, here. Um, I thought this was kind of a cool picture just cause it looks like, you know, it looks so old with just, you know, people on horses and, and uh, over there at the pyramid. If you look over here, um, I don't know if you can see my cursor, but uh, at the, the, the main pyramid that you can see right here, right to the right of it at the bottom is basically where all the tourists go. There's a road that goes up there and the Sphinx is up there and stuff. But if you go on this side, you know, around in a different direction, it really truly does feel like you're just the only couple people um, out in the desert seeing the, the pyramids. Uh, this was a uh, another shot of the the different pyramids. So you see that there's the three major pyramids, and then uh, right to the very left of the picture, there's actually three more smaller pyramids um, that were built. If you look, um, I don't know if if you can see my cursor. I don't think you can. I'm just using the cursor for myself, <laughs> I guess. Uh, if you look at the the pyramid on the right, there's a white kind of building in front of it. That's where all the the main tourists go. There's a road. Uh, right there. So when you start seeing where the tourists are, when we get a little bit closer, we kind of understand where this is at. If you look over to the right of the picture, you can see the city of Cairo. So the, the pyramids are not very far from the city at all. Uh, this is just a fun picture. Um, I'm a big, big Jordan fan. So we did a little uh, uh, fun picture over the top of the pyramids. Uh, this is the camel that I rode uh, to go and check it out. So that's kind of fun to ride camels in the desert and, uh, um, you know, kind of get that experience. Um, I've, I've rode some camels in Abu Dhabi, but it was really cool riding a camel in, uh, you know, in Egypt and, you know, going and seeing the pyramids using a camel. Uh, now this is a little bit closer. If you look at the top of the pyramid, see how it's all, it's very flat and smooth at the top. Um, from what we were told, if you look at the pyramid itself, you know, it's kind of rocky and stuff. Basically, this uh, material that's at the very top actually covered the entire pyramid at some point. But when people came and looted and, and people um, uh, took the, the top layer off of the pyramids because it was really valuable, I think it was maybe even like marbleized or something like that. Um, so they, they actually tore off some of the stuff from the pyramids. Um, as you can see, if you start looking at the people, um, they look really, really small next to, next to the pyramid. Wow. Can, oh, we, can we can we climb? Can we climb to the top? You cannot, <laughs> you are not allowed to climb to the top. Um, there's, if you look, if you do a Google search, there was, um, some Russian guys that actually probably, I think it was like maybe like a month after I visited, 
they actually climbed clear to the top of the of the pyramids and took pictures from the top of the pyramid which is not allowed you're allowed to go you know maybe three or four levels up which to me was pretty crazy as well so yeah i had someone take a picture of me climbing on the on the pyramid um because it just it just blew my mind that you could actually do that but yeah you're not supposed to climb if you climb too high the people will come and uh the the police will tell you that you need to come back down but yeah if you if you google it there's some russian guys that that climbed to the top of the pyramid and took pictures from the top of the pyramid and it is it's incredible it's a really cool view as you can see this is you know this was that that kind of corner that you can see the other ones you can see how close the city really is. It's just down the way uh, from the pyramids. So, I mean, to be able to see this every single day, I, I just think that that's wild to think that you could just look out your window and see the pyramids every day. But as you can see, the rocks that, excuse me, oh, so the rocks that have fallen off of the you know, thing. And then there's, so when I said that there was a white building in front of the pyramid, this, uh, if you look at kind of at that pyramid on the right, there's a white building in front of it. You can see people walking up and down the road. That's where all the tourists are. Um, that's where they come in. Then we have the Sphinx. And I don't know if you guys know about the Sphinx, but the Sphinx was this huge monument at one time. And then when uh, some, I, I can't remember if it was Spanish or other European um, people came, they actually, the reason the Sphinx is, is uh, destroyed, you can see that, it, that stuff has fallen off, is they actually used the Sphinx face as target practice for cannons uh, when they came through, which I just don't understand why people would destroy things that are as beautiful as this. But uh, yeah, that was, that was destroyed. Um, the face of the Sphinx was destroyed. Uh, one thing is that I was surprised at is the Sphinx is not as big as it is represented in uh, many books. It's a little bit smaller, but it's still pretty, pretty, pretty huge. Uh, another picture in front of the pyramids on the camel. Um, when we were riding around with our taxi driver, I asked him if we, if he could take us to a, a cool restaurant on the Nile River. Uh, the Nile River, you know, obviously is one of the biggest rivers. I believe it is the biggest river in the in the world, and um, you know, just to you know, with with history and things like that, to to know that we we're sitting right there, and that is the Nile River. That is pretty awesome. Now, I've heard of some amazing Nile River cruises where they go up the Nile River and they stop in different cities like Alexandria and Luxor and um, you know, different places, and you know, go towards the Mediterranean. That is something that I really, really want to do at some point. So. Um, at some point, if people are interested in going on a, on a cruise up the Nile River, that is something that I definitely want to do and, uh, you know, something that, you know, I'm sure some people would be interested in doing. <clears throat> this is the Red Sea. Um, the reason I, I just pictured this is because of, you know, biblically, this was the, the sea that, that Moses parted when, when people were, um, when, the, when his people were escaping um, from Egypt. Sharm el Sheikh, which is the city that's near here, is about an hour flight from from Cairo. So uh, it's very interesting to think like the people had to walk that far to get to this place. So this is the Red Sea. Um, so that was kind of cool for me to go see. I think that's it. Um, so for for the first part of of this, you know, like I said, I lost a lot of pictures. I had many more pictures, and I lost a lot of them. So I picked some of the the ones I like the most that I wanted to show you um, when someday when I get to uh, maybe, maybe what I'll do is I'll just show all my other Egypt pictures uh, next time, show you some videos of, of Levi um, getting to go see the pyramids. Um, I, I might just show those, you know, here soon since I'm talking about Egypt and not wait until the very end. But what I want to do is I want to kind of start adding, you know, different, you know, kind of little small presentations every once in a while of um, kind of almost like a chronological order of, of the places that I visited. Uh, we'll try to do that as much as possible. Um, so that's it for, for those pictures. But those are a couple of pictures from Egypt. 
Uh, I don't know if anybody has any questions or if anybody has visited Egypt. I don't know. Um, right now, I think that it's going to, it's very hard to get into Egypt, uh, especially if you have an American passport, but hopefully things will slowly get back to normal and you can, um, you know, visit some of these places. Uh, does anybody have any questions about Egypt? If you do raise your hand, I think you should be able to um, unmute yourselves. Yeah, actually, Europe is the yeah Europe Egypt is mm -hmm. the first place, and then in my list that I want to uh, go there because I really I uh, watch and then um, I love the history from there. Uh, but um, because I see that you know the um, pyramids is real is in the place that have um, yes it really. Uh, mm, yeah, um, how long from the city and then the uh, pyramids? What's what was that last question, Toto? How far from the city is that? What you were asking? Yes. Um, how far it's, from the city? The the place that you have the the lunch or the, the yes, pyramids? That's, yeah. Uh, it's, to it's, the pyramids. It's not very at all from the city to the pyramids we actually I'm, I'm i'll actually show a video of us um when i went with with my wife and uh, we have a little video with levi and we're in a little horse and carriage and it's maybe five minutes five ten minutes out of the city um it's not very far at all i mean it's like literally the, you have the edge of the city and then you go through like a gate and then you start walking up towards the um, pyramids, those pyramids. Now, when you look out and you see out into the distance, there's pyramids all over the place and they're, they're much farther away um, mm. from the city. But yeah, the, the pyramids are really, really close to the city. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, Toto, the, the history, um, learning about things about, about Egypt, it is one of, it is, well, it was the first place I wanted to visit when I, when I went, um, when I decided to go teach in uh, Abu Dhabi, that was that was the first place I wanted to go um, because I've just I've always loved you know learning about about Egypt and the history, and that's why I want to do that Nile tour because it goes to other cities that have supposedly have even better um, artifacts and things like that. Um, I'll show you some pictures next time. Um, I guess what I'll do is I'll just do next time as, as uh, the Egypt pictures that I took. Because what happened is when I first went to Abu Dhabi, that was my first trip was to Egypt. Mm -hmm. When I left Abu Dhabi, my wife had always wanted to go to Egypt. So we went to Egypt and um, had the same driver. I've, I've been, you know, I've connect, I have been connected with him for years, had the same driver. So he got to meet my family. And it was our, it was my last trip before I came home. So it was really cool that, you know, basically I went on all these, all these trips to different countries and I went to Egypt, the very first trip and my last trip, I went to Egypt. Um, so that was, that was really, that was really a cool. Um, Actually, I have another question about this. Uh, do yeah. they allow, do they allow those uh, tourists to uh, go to inside the pyramid? Yeah, you can actually go inside the pyramids. You can you can walk into like the tunnels and things like that that they have built for the for ultimately for the graveyard. There are certain places that you cannot go into. Uh, I have some friends that actually did go into some places that they weren't supposed to and took some pictures and stuff. But um, you can go inside of it. It is very small. It is very claustrophobic. So if you don't like tight spaces, uh, might not be the best place for you. But yes, you can go inside of the pyramid. Oh. And what's really cool is there's a <clears throat> there's the museum, um, the Cairo Museum, and they've taken a lot of the artifacts and things out of the the pyramids and they put them in the museum and you can actually like touch stuff and I have a picture of Levi touching hieroglyphics on the wall. Uh, I'll show you that picture next time. I'm going to show a little bit more of Egypt. 
Um, but yeah, the, the museum is amazing because you can go and see all the different artifacts and things like that. And then, like I said, like I've heard like Alexandria and um, Luxor just have like massive, massive uh, ruins and, and, and architecture and stuff that is still, um, you know, still there today. And so that is something I definitely want to do and, and see. So that's, that's awesome, Toto, that you uh, are interested in Egypt because yeah, it is, it is pretty incredible. Um, Toto, have you ever watched the movie um, called 10,000 BC? 10,000 BC? I don't know. I don't remember the name when I watched the, the movie. Mm -hmm. I'm, what's, so I'm not sure. What's cool about it is they have, the, the movie is kind of an idea of um, how the world has like little different little places and what they believe in and stuff and how it's all, you know, kind of comes together and um, becomes one major thing. But uh, in the movie, they, they end up in Egypt in Cairo and they show the, the people building the pyramids and how they picture how the pyramids would have been built at that time. And it's actually really cool to see that, like to see like someone's thought of, of how they believe that the, the pyramids were made at that time, I, you know, obviously I don't think that anybody really knows exactly how it was done. Um, but, but uh, that movie is kind of interesting because it kind of shows like somebody's idea. Yeah. I will, I will watch it. Actually, yeah, now it's, I, I'm so it's actually, it's really long, but it's a really good movie. Like the, like the movie itself, like the concept and like learning about like how people, you know, like tribes and things like that come up with, with culture and ideas and religion and what they believe in and, you know, whatever. Um, that it was actually kind of, it was a really good movie for that to kind of, you know, see. Yeah, I see. It's just only uh, almost two hours and then it's yeah. not too long. Yeah, for it's, me. Very, it's, it's a very long movie, um, kind of slow in the beginning, but it's, it, it, it is incredible like it's I, I think it, like honestly it's one of my favorite movies I've, I've watched it numerous times because it's just it's 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 cool to see how people kind of interpret like how people um, come up with you know uh, their beliefs as, as a culture mm, yeah <laughs> so thank you for your suggestion no problem uh, mm. anybody else have any questions um, let me look really quickly on uh, web talk to see if there's any more comments on here. No, nope, doesn't look like it. So uh, today, guys, I think we're going to end with this. Um, like I said, I, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I, I said that I was going to do a Saturday night um, Zoom, but I, I have something going on, so I can't do it. But next week, next Thursday, uh, Tom is going to have all of his audio stuff figured out so that he can do his presentation. Uh, if anybody else, anybody else that's on the Zoom, anybody else that listens to this later, if you have something that you would like to present to the group um, of, of a place that you want to visit, a place that you're from, um, any questions that you have about the travel group, please bring those. Um, I love doing this every week. I love talking about, you know, places that I've visited. I love seeing new places, uh, you know, Lambs is uh, the, you know, waterfall and, and, uh, you know, the beauty of the pagoda and the mountains. I mean, that's just, that's, that's just stuff that just makes me excited to, uh, start traveling again, um, to be able to go and see these different things and be able to go and see things that you guys, that, that you're from, you know, that yeah. I think it's going to be really cool is to be able to go, uh, visit people in their own place. Actually, I would like someone from Thailand to talk about the elephant making um, a coffee. Yeah, I would like to hear this. <laughs> the, the elephants make coffee? Yeah. Wow, I've, I haven't heard of that. I've heard of, I've heard of uh, the little meerkats or whatever, not meerkats, the, shoot, what is it? The, the, something, the tree cats or whatever that eat the, the coffee beans and how they create coffee that way. I've heard of that, but I haven't heard of the, of the elephants. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this is really, um, this is <coughs> And I was like, if someone here from Thailand can hear about, um, yes, what I would like to hear. So I, I want you, next time you can 
uh, go to this Zoom and then share something yes about the elephant making coffee. All right. There's a challenge, guys. If somebody knows about the elephants that make coffee, I would love to hear about it because that is something I've never heard about. So I would definitely like to hear about that. All right, guys. Um, I'm going to call it quits today. Uh, thank you for joining on here. And uh, hopefully that, you know, people watch this video, you know, all of the IEG travel group. I hope you're watching the videos, um, you know, just to hear what people have to present and talk about. It's pretty awesome. Uh, we didn't have any videos from any companies this week uh, because we saw those. We'll, we might show those later, but, you know, I don't, I don't always want to just have, you know, videos of companies, um, you know, because this is still the travel group and, uh, you know, we are still building and still creating. So tell you, make sure that you're telling your friends, telling people about this group. Uh, you know, let's just keep building this thing and keep going. Uh, the app is, is close. Uh, RJ's. Yeah. The app should come out in July. Uh, I hope that that, that that actually happens. So we're not that far away, guys. And uh, it's, it's very exciting to see things growing and, you know, getting closer and, and just, you know, being able to, to learn more about each other's culture is, is incredible. So thank you for coming. And uh, I will see you guys next Thursday. And then after that, uh, we will do the, the Saturday and Thursday. So uh, next Thursday. I will see you guys at 9.30. All right. Talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. All right. Bye-bye.